on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here this is going to be my spoiler review for halloween 2018 uh so if you have not seen the film i recommend not watching this video you should go watch that movie first and then come back to this video after you have watched the film halloween 2018 came out last weekend you guys know i did my spoiler free review this is going to be my spoiler review so the film picks up 40 years after the original film that came out in 1978 michael myers after he got shot six times by dr loomis's character donald pleasance played by donald pleasance he was apprehended and taken back to smith's world sanitarium again uh one of the characters that was on scene that night that sheriff detective hawk or deputy hawkins i think he's now uh Deputy Hawkins, he's now like a right hand of the sheriff in this film. So he's been around in the town ever since that night with Myers. And then you also have Laurie Strode is back, played by Jamie Lee Curtis, Curtis again. Michael Myers, played by Nick Castle and James Jude Courtney, who premiered, who also starred in Buffy, the, an episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer for Buffy fans out there. Nice little hint, nice little uh, Easter egg for you guys there as well. You have Andy Matichak's character playing Allison, Laurie Strode's granddaughter, and you have Judy Greer playing uh, Laurie Strode's daughter. There is no Curse of Thorn. There is no Thorn trilogy. Daniel Harris is not relevant in this film. Uh, Josh Hartnett's character, he's not relevant in this film. There is no Buster Rhymes. There's no Trick or Treat, Mother Effa, and all that stuff. It's just Michael Myers, and he's back and it's 40 years after the original film. So the film starts off with us following those two podcasters that we've seen in the trailers. They go to the sanitarium, they go to Smith's Grove, they're taunting Michael Myers with his mask, and then that's when things start to go crazy. Michael Myers, of course, is, he, some for some odd reason, is able to sense the presence of this mask. He just gets a feeling. That's what the movie is trying to hint at. He just has a feeling. So once it's time for the bus transfer, Michael Myers does, in fact, get set free and he ends up escaping and he goes after those two podcasters he gets his mask back and then goes back to Haddonfield I'm not going in order of what if what if that if what is actually happening I may get out of order at some points so for people who have seen the movie uh if you're not able to follow what I'm saying I apologize but anyway if you've seen the film then you should be able to put it all together anyway uh Michael kills a few people in Haddonfield and then Lori becomes Lori becomes aware that he, that he has broken out because Lori has been spending the last 40 years suffering from PTSD from the murders that occurred in 1978 and she's been preparing for this inevitable return. Uh, her daughter, her family and her marriage life have suffered because of this. She lost her daughter when she was only 12 years old because at the young age of the young age of eight, that's when she started training Karen, Judy Greer's character, to start preparing for Michael Myers' inevitable return. So there's always been some sort of disconnect between mother and daughter because the daughter never quite understood what was wrong with her mother. And she still kind of doesn't understand that today because she didn't go through these things. Her mother did, and she's just being affected by something that Michael Myers caused. So she also has been affected by Michael Myers. And then you have this... this uh, this other young lady played by Andy Matichak, Allison's character, Allison Strode, she's being affected by it because she she has no relationship with her grandmother because of her mother who constantly lies to her about uh, what is going on with her grandmother. But in some ways, Allison does kind of have some sort of some sort of a relationship with her grandmother. They're not the closest, but they seem to have like a lot in common. If they were to actually get down to the nitty gritty and we actually saw these two interact, they seem to have a lot in common. It seems like Allison kind of sympathizes with her grandmother and she relates to her. There's a lot of comic relief in this film. You have Judy Greer's husband. He's he's one of the biggest comic release comic relief aspects. I think he's I think he exists merely to make the audience laugh. Uh, there's one kid played by there's one kid in the film, I think his name is Julian. I think that might be the actor's name. He gives some of the best one lines I've ever heard in a Michael Myers film. Uh, it's not over the top comedy, it's charming comedy that you would expect from someone his age. Um, some of the comedy, there's one scene where it is out of place. There's a scene where he's killing the babysitter. I felt that was out of place. Uh, but that's just me personally. I think that took away from the feel of the film a lot. And another thing about this film, it's not, it doesn't really have that atmosphere that it was trying to grasp from the first film. That's why I was always saying that this movie is overhyped. It's still good. But for example, Rob Zombie's films, even though they are far inferior, they do have a, a more serious tone to them. And I, I just wish the tone of this film and the atmosphere was dealt with a little bit more seriously. And the movie was projected as like a legit 
horror film like Michael Myers is actually something to be worried about because we don't really get that until the end of the film. It's not that Michael Myers is portrayed as a joke. It's just that it just didn't feel like enough for a Michael Myers film. That's just me personally. Uh, but yeah, Doc, Doc, Michael Myers also has a new doctor in this film, Dr. Sartain. He teams up with the Sheriff Hawkins or De Deputy Hawkins and they go to Haddonfield and it, we come to find out that Hawkins or not Hawkins, but Dr. Sartain ended up being responsible for Michael Myers' escape, or that's what we're led to believe, because initially when the bus crashed, we didn't see anyone on the bus ex besides uh, Dr. Sartain, so it's kind of ironic that Michael Myers not only didn't kill the patients, but he didn't kill Dr. Sartain as well, so that's kind of hinting that perhaps something is going on here, because it was quite odd to me when I saw the film that he was the only one alive on the bus. But anyway, Dr. Sartain, reveals his true colors and he leads Michael Myers over to Laurie Strode because he believes that they need to settle this once for all or something or he feels he feels that they are feeding off of each other in some way or another and that there's something there that needs to be settled so he he kind of he doesn't orchestrate it but he makes sure the inevitable happens he believes that Michael Myers has been waiting to go back after Laurie Strode when he really hasn't Michael Myers doesn't show any intention of going after Laurie Strode the only time he seems concerned with her is with the point when he's brought to her uh, the same thing with Laurie Stroh. She spent the last 40 years thinking Michael Myers was obsessing over her. He really wasn't. She was obsessing over him. Uh, the film ends with all the all three of the Stroh women in, in Laurie's house. It's all booby trapped and rigged to blow. It was all a trap set up for Michael Myers. When he shows up, they lock him down in the basement. We have a little altercation with Laurie. Michael Myers presumably gets burned alive and then the film ends with all three women escaping and we see Allison's character played by Andy Matichak gr grasping Michael Myers knife kind of symbolizing that they've taken back over their lives and Michael Myers no longer controls them. Uh, they have the power now. Uh, I enjoyed the film. I give it a solid. I gave it a seven and a half but the more I think about it I'm going to give it a seven out of ten uh, because like I said this movie does have a few problems here and there is not an overall bad film it is probably the one of the better sequels that came out from this franchise uh i it just depends on i really don't know i'm in between seven to seven and a half it just depends on what day of the week it is i guess i could say either or i won't go higher than a seven or a seven and a half on this film uh that was my spoiler review of it i like i like the cinematography i think that was done i was think i think that was done masterfully david gordon green his direction was good uh danny mcbride's comedy in it i could have done without it but it was it was leveled out fine with what was going on in the film the acting while not the best everyone gives solid performances Ju james jude courtney gives an amazing performance as michael myers jamie lee curtis of course knocks it out of the park park as laurie strode judy greer and andy matichak their roles are their roles are fine the person who played dr sartain i'm sorry i don't know your name you were fine uh the only character that i really didn't like was vicky I don't want to get into Vicky at right now. I'll get into her at, at some point in another video. Uh, but if you guys have seen Halloween 2018 and you enjoyed it, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, I've done a video explaining what I think happened to Michael Myers, so I'm not going to talk about that in this video. But if you've seen Halloween 2018, let me know what you guys thought about it down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe and turn on post notifications. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know what movies you'd like me to review in the future. Also, guys, I will leave links to some of my articles that I have, I've had published over the recent few days you can read those i have some news on halloween 3 and a possible jamie lee curtis return i'll end up doing a video on it as well and then i have news on jeepers creepers 4 uh, but i'll leave links to my articles down in the description with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video